no, you can't make every single podcast better. But wouldn't that be cool? But what you can do is make sure that your friends and your coworkers and the people you connect with every single day are all listening to great podcasts. Hello and welcome to another Podcast Pontifications with me, Evo Terra. This week, it's all about what you can do to make all of podcasting better. And today, we're going to focus in on you being an advocate. Because the people that you connect with every single day probably know you're a podcaster. Maybe not. It might be a closeted thing. It might be a secret. And I'm certainly not suggesting that you become a vegan or an atheist which is quite vocal in their, uh, there's that old joke, uh, crossfitter, an atheist, and a vegan walk into a bar, and three minutes later, everyone in the bar knows. Kind of a joke. So I'm not suggesting that you do that, but I am suggesting that you take the opportunity, when it arises, to spread the good news about podcasting, but very specific. Not just to spread, not just spread the good news, about podcasting, but actually spread good podcasts. Now, way back in the early, like single digits, I think, episodes that I was doing well over a year ago, I had an episode called, uh, I, I made reference to this acronym called an INI. And I, and an INI basically means, or it's letters that stand for, I had no idea. Any, I, H, N, I, yeah, yeah. I had no idea content could be so good. I'll have a link to that uh, in the episode details. Just click through on your app and listen to it. But I want to expand on that idea. Because what do I mean by that? Uh, because it's also been a year, a year later. So we're now in a world, as we all know, that people get podcasting. When we mention podcasting, people don't say, what's that? They don't. They start asking weird questions. And it happened to me yesterday. It happens to me I think every single time somebody finds out I'm, a, I'm in podcasting, the typical question is, so what do you listen to? Yesterday it was, so what's your favorite podcast of all time? Uh, I, I've, heard, I've heard lots of variations on the theme. And what I'm going to suggest you to, to you is two things on today's episode. I want you to learn two good skills. I want you to have two good practices at the ready for the next time you encounter someone and podcasting comes up and that person says, some variation on what do you listen to, which is really what they're saying. If you listen to it again and think in your mind, they're asking you what recommendations you have. Even if that's not what they're expressly saying, that's what they're looking for. Unless, of course, it's another podcaster and they've got crazy and they want to see if your podcasting is, tastes are as weird and eclectic as theirs. That's fine. So here's, your, here's my suggestion of what I want you to do. You have on your phone right now, on your mobile device, your preferred listening app. I don't want you to change that. I don't care what it is. Whatever your preferred listening app is, I want you to keep that. But I want you to install a second one. And ideally, it's a common second one. Something like, you know, if you're not using Apple Podcasts and you have an iPhone, well, it's on your system, so keep that. If you're not using Google Podcasts and you're on an Android, it's there, so, so use that. Or... Perhaps even a better suggestion is if you are an active working podcaster, you're probably not using Spotify for its podcast abilities. So that's on your phone too. So I want you to have this secondary app that you really don't use to listen to podcasts, but certainly can listen to podcasts. And in that app, in that second app that you don't use to listen to podcasts, I want you to subscribe to five shows that are amazing quality. Yep, I want you to go find five shows that are of amazing quality and subscribe to those shows in that app. And the reason I want you to do that is only for the times when someone says to you, what's your favorite show? What do you listen to? What's weird that's out there? Whatever, whatever they're saying to you, you can now pull out your phone instead of trying to remember those five shows, which is hard to do. It happened to me yesterday. I was, I was stuck. I, I can think of one. I listen to 107. I want it in that, that new app so I can pull it out real quickly and say, these are the shows. So you can tell that person here. If it's something like Spotify, chances are they're a Spotify user. You can share that show with them right there in Spotify. 
Now, just so that I'm clear, these are five really good shows that are amazing to listen to, that you just every single second is perfect or is, is approaching perfection. These don't have to be the shows that you love to listen to. These, I'm not talking about your guilty pleasures. I'm talking about a show that someone you meet on the street who you don't know anything about, you don't know their politics, you don't know their religion, you don't know where they stand on any issues, you don't know what kind of music they like, you know nothing about them. But they're asking you, even though they didn't say it, they're asking you for a recommendation. These are the shows you would recommend to anybody. Not so they would fall in love with the show itself, but so they have a representation that is different than is in their brain right now of what podcasting sounds like, so they can say, I had no idea podcast could sound this good. Do not, I repeat, do not make one of your shows or your show a part of that list of five. The list of five is a crutch for you so that you can easily tell people what shows they should listen to. You can be that gateway drug, if you will, into podcasting. That's what these five shows are for in this secondary app. It's not for you to use it to try and get another listener. That's not helping. What we need is someone listening to all podcasting who's in it. Then maybe, once they've gotten in it, then maybe they're the right person for you. Not clearly if they are the right person for you. I don't mind you telling that person to listen to your show, but is your show the kind of show when they listen to it, they go, wow, I had no idea things could be this really great. I hope you're making a show like that. But it's also, you, know, you don't know if that's if the thing you're talking about the person's into. So it's less about you and more about the good news that you can spread. The other thing you can do in that same vein is advocate anytime there's an opportunity to talk about podcasting to, to your friends and coworkers. Again, don't be the crazy you know, <laughs> vegan CrossFitter or atheist of walking into the room telling everybody that's what they do. But when conversations about media are coming up, you should be a good person. And spread the message of podcasting. Hey, there's a podcast for that. Oh, you're really into this particular TV show? Great. There's probably a podcast about that. You can pull out your phone right now and tell them what's going on in that world. But again, my, my primary idea I want, to, I want you to take away from this short episode here is that you should have an app, a secondary app, that you list just your recommendations. So you can turn the screen around and show them. So you can fling it to them if you're sharing with that same device. Or you've just got that mental crutch at, at hand. So whatever you were just listening to is fresh in your brain. That's fine. This will let you say, this will let you re remind yourself so you can remind other people what great podcasts sound like. And again, we're looking for the innies, the I had no ideas. That's the message to continue this advocacy conversation. Tomorrow, coming back with more ways you... You, the working podcaster, can help make all of podcasting better. Businesses out there that need some help with all of this, check out podcastlaunch.pro. That's the company that I run, and we help people all over the world make and keep running great podcasts. Evo at podcastlaunch.pro reaches me. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I shall be back tomorrow with yet another podcast pontifications. Cheers.